There are three principles about ligament physiology and pathology that I think are relevant for anyone looking to maintain musculoskeletal health and spinal health as we all age. And I want to go through these three principles and what I think would be a, a couple of key recommendations for you to age in the healthiest way possible. When ligaments are under tension, they lengthen. And then when they're taken off of tension, they will shorten back up. When we're younger, that process happens relatively quickly, at least the part where the ligament uh, contracts back and is restored back to its normal length. As we get older though, the ligaments are less elastic and they don't recoil as quickly. So situations where your ligaments would be under tension for long periods of time, such as sitting at a desk, looking down at your phone, can create a situation where the ligament's lengthening and then if it's done repeatedly, that it never has a chance to heal. Ligaments absorb forces that are applied to a joint because they stabilize the joint. As ligaments heal, they are, as ligaments are injured or as they age, they have less and less capacity to absorb sudden change in force. So that's a really important principle. And finally, ligaments uh, heal, maintain their structural integrity and strength, and get stronger with the right amount of force applied. Uh, just like muscles, ligaments need to have uh, those kinds of forces applied for them to be healthy. So what does that mean for you? I think that an underlying principle in musculoskeletal health that everybody should think about really is mindful movement. We talk about this with our patients healing after surgery, and I think it's a really good way to heal after surgery, but it's also just a really good way to be. Our bodies are intended to be in motion, and what better way to be in motion than being mindful of your motion, paying attention to your posture, the way you are moving, slow things down a little bit, take your time, enjoy life, and be mindful of the way you move. Secondly, weight-bearing exercise is critical for health and strength of ligaments. I have three exercises that I love. Push-ups, pull-ups, and lunges. I like to do these exercises slowly, without regard necessarily for how many reps, but more that I'm feeling the tension on the muscles, I'm working towards fatigue, and then I like to do them consistently. I try to do these exercises at home without a lot of equipment on a regular basis at certain times during my regular day. Consistency is key. Do exercises that are weight bearing on a consistent basis, but also slowly and in great control and with good form. That way you're not prone to injury and you're very likely to maximize the uh, strength and the health of the ligaments long term. I think we all have our goals with getting older and we want to be able to engage in the activities that we love despite getting older. And I don't feel like I'm an old person yet, but I, I do feel some of the effects of, of being older and, and having probably some more ligament laxity and ligament uh, problems at, in different places in my body. But by, by good nutrition, but also mindful movement and some weight bearing exercise, I am very proud to say that I skied 37 days this winter, and in the first quarter of the year, I did one of the things I love to do, which is surgery, and I did over 250 surgeries, which is very taxing on my body, and I have to be very mindful and conscientious about staying healthy. And I think we all formulate a plan for ourselves relative to our specific goals, but I think a fundamental part of anybody's long-term plan, in addition to good nutrition, which we talked about this morning, is mindful movement and good weight-bearing exercise.